Hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going? I know I've been uh, a bit busy lately and uh, I was away in LA over the weekend. Hey, Mary, how are you guys? How are you doing? Hey guys, yeah, is your, is your popping on? Make sure to say hello where you're tuning in from. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the three steps to massive growth for your business. And I'm just going to give it a minute while people pop on. Hey, Becky. I just got home from L.A. Um, I was away for a pretty intensive workshop with my mentors and my affiliate um, company, a, a company I'm affiliated with, which I'll talk about later in this uh, broadcast. But it's really cool because as entrepreneurs, sometimes we can get a little bit lost in um, our day-to-day -day actions, right? And so having mentors to be able to keep you back on track and, and bring you uh, back into reality is a really awesome thing. So, um, yeah, as you guys are popping in, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And today I'm just going to talk about, you know, the three steps to massive growth. And I'm going to tell you that um, most of the time as entrepreneurs, we could spend a lot of time thinking right? Do you ever feel like you're getting, like you're stuck in that thinking trap? You know, the more you, you maybe think about a cer certain situation or thinking about that person that you want to reach out to for your business or thinking about the next step you want to take <laughs> inside your business, um, you know, the more afraid you become to actually do it or to make those changes, okay? And so sometimes when we think too much, um, it, it like magnifies either the problem that we're thinking on, the issue that we're having, that we're thinking about. It's called, um, it's actually called uh, the spotlight effect. So you're giving so much thought into, um, you know, a certain, whatever it is, like a certain situation that arises in your life, um, whether it's good or bad or possibly, you know, reaching out to somebody on your chicken list, right? You, you're thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, but you never take action. So I know how that feels. Um, you know, sometimes it's because of uncertainty. So I don't know if you guys can relate. Sometimes we get stuck in our own way because we're uncertain about either the next step we're about to take where we're uncertain about the outcome have you ever been sitting there nervous to do something because you're uncertain about the outcome right um and so really i want to talk to you about um something to do a little bit in in regards to timing and, and time management and the three things that you really should be focusing on every single day and once I started focusing on this, and it was actually reminded to me this weekend um, from being in the workshop with my mentors that these are the three things you need to be focus, focus on. Because I'll be honest, lately I've been in thinking mode. <laughs> I've been thinking about, okay, so this past year when I developed my training company, I feel like I've been living in fast forward. Sometimes you guys feel like you're living in fast forward. Like where is the time going? Okay. And then you look past this past year and you're like, holy crap. I thought either I was going to be so much further ahead or you're like, holy crap. How did this happen? How did this grow as fast as it did? And then you start thinking about it too much and you become stagnant. Okay. Have you ever been just become stagnant? Like where you stop in your tracks and you just, don't know where to go or you don't know what to do moving forward. Well, recently that happened to me and um, I got very sidetracked, okay, because I was thinking too much. I was thinking of, um, I was thinking so much that then it was like I was, I felt like I was in this downward spiral, okay. Hold on, I'm getting a ton of messages, sorry about that. And Sometimes we need to do something that breaks that pattern, okay? And for me, I lived in that pattern for about two weeks where I kept feeling like everything bad was happening, right? And I just kept having those negative thoughts and negative thoughts and negative thoughts to the point where I was like, okay, <laughs> I need to stop. Like, we need to interrupt the negative thinking pattern. 
and I was getting very distracted. Have you guys ever gotten really distracted? Like you're in the middle of building your business and, or maybe just doing a task or something that you know you need to do and get distracted. Um, if you have, I want you to drop me a two. Okay, if I'm not alone and you have been distracted in your business or have lost focus or maybe thought about something too much, drop me a two and let me know. Um, because that was me. That, that, that is where I, I was at. And then I made the decision to go and be with my mentors this past week in LA and be with them in this three-day intensive workshop to get back to reality. Okay, because sometimes that's what we need. We need others to kind of slap us back into reality, right? And that's what happened. I had major breakthroughs this weekend. And one thing that we talked about was the three steps to massive growth. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, okay? Um, and the, the three steps are grow, engage, and promote. And these are the three things that you need to be focused on every single day. So if you guys are near a pen and a paper, or if you're watching the replay, if you are watching the replay later, drop me a hashtag replay, okay? But if you're watching this now and you're by pen and paper, grab it because I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to talk about the three things that will help get you uh, more focused, okay? Um, because once I did this, it was like, okay, now I have a plan moving forward. Now I need to know how to be scheduling and, and you know, keeping uh, my time on track and what I should be focused on because there's so much noise around us and I'm telling you this is going to help you and I'm going to slap you back in reality right now. So if you're ready, let's do this, okay? If you're ready, drop a yes. Let me hear from you. Okay, I know we have a lot, quite a few people on here. Drop a yes. If you are new to who Julie Burke is, I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I want you to head over there after this, not right now, after this, and grab yourself... Um, my freebie, one of my free resources. You can find it under my featured products. I have several free resources though. Drop your email in and grab that. And a little bit later, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you why you wanna be on my email list. I have something really um, special coming out next week. All right, <clears throat> so I want you to write down, um, and I have a little, let me see if you, I don't know if you guys could see this. It might be, I know I'm outside, but it might be backwards for you guys. You know what? I think it's too I think it's too bright, you guys. I'll just I'm gonna read it off. Okay, so the circle. Draw a circle and at the top I want you to put grow and then circle around with an arrow and then I want you to write engage and then circle back around and then write promote. Okay, so those are the three things. Everything every day you should be focused on. Now, I want you to write there's three different tasks every single day and you need to group them. Okay, you need to group the three tasks. And I want you to write down um, results-driven tasks, results-driven tasks, and you could either, I would put it in a column, results-driven tasks, and then next to it, I want you to write preparation tasks. And then next to preparation tasks, I want you to write distraction tasks. <laughs> and we could probably fill up five pages of distraction tasks, right? So some preparation um, results, or I'm sorry, results-driven tasks, I'm going to talk about first that column. Um, now, I want you to understand, I, the following I have is very diverse, right? Some of us are network marketers, um, some of us are affiliate marketers, because I do affiliate marketing, and some of us are just online internet marketers, and, that's, and coaches that are growing their business, okay? Which is fine, because we're all entrepreneurs. So, but we're all doing different things. So I'm going to kind of just rattle off some of the things I want you to write in the results-driven tasks. And if you don't have a pen and paper, don't worry. You can come back later and you can go through this. Um, so how to grow, gauge, and promote. Because every day you should be growing your network, growing your audience. Super duper important. A year ago when I started my fan page, I had zero, zero, zero people. And in 13 months, I am... 30 followers away from 30,000 people. Like, absolutely insane. And none of that could have happened without you guys. Like, I want you to understand that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for always being generous, liking and commenting and sharing um, all of my tips and strategies. I have now done, I believe, 240 Facebook Lives 
something that I had massive fear around. And I've been able to grow an email list of 41,000 subscribers within that year. So thank you very much for that. Um, so results driven tasks, so grow and then engage. Obviously I'm gauging with you, right? And then promote every now and then I'm gonna promote something to you guys that is going to help you, you, not me, you grow your business, okay? Um, so results driven tasks. Um, Facebook Live, like right now, this by far, and I know there's a lot of people with fear around Facebook Live and video, but this by far has seriously grown a rapid following. Because why? Because I'm sure you guys feel like you know, you know me, you probably like me since you keep tuning back in and you trust me, right? You know I'm a straight shooter. If you do know me and you've been following, you know I have a no fluff approach. And you know I'm genuine. And a lot of people, um, that was the very number one thing when I started this community that I was so focused on is showing up as Julie Burke. And hearing the words genuine and authentic make me happier than any sort of amount of money I've ever made through this process of selling products. Like, I, I really, truly mean that. Um, Every day I get messages from you guys and it's, it, they are so in aligned with how I want to show up and who I am that I'm very grateful for that. Um, and so Facebook Live, um, video chat. Okay, so video chat has been huge for my business, meaning if I have people that are interested in joining me inside my network marketing company, guess what I'm doing? I'm video chatting or I'm chatting with them through Facebook Messenger as you should. Okay, it's the fastest way. I don't really jump on the phone anymore. All right, it's it's all through either doing a Zoom, um, or a Skype, or a Facebook message or chat. Uh, same thing if people want to join inside my affiliate uh, partner group. Same thing if they want to know more about that. Um, my affiliate partner group helps home-based business entrepreneurs grow and build their business through online marketing. So it's basically teaching you how to take your business offline to online. So the training that I give, but they take it to a whole new level and they also help you gain leads very, very fast for your, um, for your business, whether you're in network marketing or internet marketing or whatever home-based business you have. That's what my affiliate partner does. And so people are interested in that. I jump on a, a video chat, right? They answer their questions. Um, you could be doing um, follow-up. So many people drop the ball in follow-up. If you have an interested prospect, you have to follow up. And I mean follow up within 24 hours. And then if they don't answer, you follow up with them in another 24 hours. I recently did a video on how or what I do with follow-up. So go back and you can watch that. Um, a team webinar. You could do a team webinar for your network marketing team, right? So um, you could do a team webinar and record it and then guess what? You're leveraged because if you do a team webinar on, um, let's say you want to do a webinar on how to get people started right for your network marketing business, okay? Instead of keep doing a call every single week, put some slides together, record a webinar, it's very simple, and get it up on your training site, right? It's about leveraging your time. You have to get more efficient with your time. Um, and so a team webinar, you could do, if you're doing blogging like I am, I, I send a blog out a week, usually twice a week max, um, or a blog and a video that week. If you're doing blogging, you want to post a blog because that is your results driven task and then give them a resource. Um, emails, right? If you don't have an email list, and you are a network marketer, you highly, highly, highly want to rethink that. I will tell you why. Recently, I decided after five years, I was having a lot of issues with my upline, and I had to make a decision to walk away from a multiple six-figure business, okay? Now, I have an email list of 41,000 people. So by the push of a button, I can now communicate with all 41,000 people, and if I'm looking for new business partners within my new network marketing company, guess what? I could host a webinar and lead them into my new network marketing company, right? Same thing with my customers. I get my customers on the list if you, know, you happen to leave where you're currently at, and I know we don't ever wanna think that way, but I'm gonna tell you something. It's smart business. It is smart business. This is what being an entrepreneur is all about. And I know sometimes if you're new in network marketing, you come in, you drink the Kool-Aid, and you're like, you know, I've been there. I drank the Kool-Aid. And you're like, yes, this is like awesome. 
Um, I'm so excited. I love these products. Like, I get it, but you also have to be smart. Anything could happen. That company could shut down tomorrow. You're not in control of the company. The company's in control of the company. So even though you're a network marketer and you feel like you're building this business of freedom, I will tell you what, you're just, you're, it's just a glorified job. It still is. And I'm, I'm just giving you the hard, hardcore truth right now, okay? Um, anything could happen. Zero control over that. So an email list is so crucial. It's another thing I learned inside my affiliate partner company, okay? All right. Um, a call to action. So every time I do the lives or you do your videos or your lives, you should be doing this call to action. Where do you want to lead your prospect? Do you want them to drop a comment so they connect with you? Do you want them to message you? Do you want them to jump on a webinar? Do you want them to jump on a consultation call? What do you want them to do? Um, and then uh, if you have a fan page like me, you can invite them to like the page. So I invite you to like my page so you could keep up with these, these strategies and tips and trainings. Um, prospecting, hello, that's results driven, driven prospecting. I choose to prospect online. Some people choose to do offline and online. Totally awesome, just prospecting in general. And then sharing content. So sharing content, again, through a Facebook Live, a video, an email, a blog, or just posting something you read on your page. All right, so there you have it. There's a lot there. Now I want you to write next to results driven tasks, 60%. Because 60% of your time should be spent doing that. Okay, now let's talk about preparation tasks. Preparation tasks could be writing an email, writing a blog, writing your Facebook, your Facebook post for the day, um, if you're doing ads, you could be writing your Facebook ad. Um, it could be recording a video. Maybe you're scared to do Facebook Live. So record a video and, and get it uploaded, right? Just post it. Um, and then you can do uh, preparation of your webinar slides. If you decide that you want to do a webinar, I'm going to tell you right now, it is the fastest way to grow your business is through um, doing a webinar and it doesn't have to be this huge 145 slide webinar it could be a really simplified webinar I have an, a webinar outline um, if you want to hit me up about that I could try and uh, get that over to you um, let's see attending events all right that's huge for preparation tasks we learn a lot of at company events you definitely want to go to events or even like the event I was at over the weekend like workshops right teaching us how to really up-level in our life. Um, reading books, listening to podcasts. You guys, all of that is preparation tasks, and 35% of your time every single day should be spent there, right? Now, distraction tasks. Get ready, right? Because there's a whole laundry list of distraction tasks. I mean, we are talking about social media, distraction. Facebook, number one, is a distraction. People scrolling the feed. Um, watching useless videos on YouTube, right? Or watching useless videos on Facebook. Distraction tasks. Um, pets. Sometimes we own a home-based business, but guess what? We will distract ourselves if we hit any sort of resistance in our business or we feel blocked in our business or we're just feeling like off, like we're having an off day we will often distract ourselves. So emails, social media, doing laundry, pets, eating, going to the bathroom. Um, let's see what else. Um, FedEx coming to the door, texting people, you know, just unnecessary stuff. So how do you shut that all down? Well, you put do not disturb on your phone or you put your phone on airplane mode and you shut down all your windows, especially social media, while you're getting your number one results driven tasks done for the day. Okay. So here's how you segregate your day. Like here's how you separate it. Basically you want to, hold on. Let me just check my notes. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys like all the right information. Cause you guys, is this good stuff? Like, is this helping? If it is drop me a three. Cause I already had you drop me a yes. Drop me a three. Let me know if this is helping you because here's some really good tips on now so I, I, I taught you how to split up your day, right? 65, 35, five, okay? Now I wanna help you understand how to stay productive and happy throughout your day, all right? So one, 
Um, you have to start identifying your peak hours. So listen, there have been days I have hammered through six, seven hours straight of work. Can I just tell you something? At night, I go back and think about what I did that day and I don't even remember. Okay, I'm getting a lot of love it's and threes. Thank you guys. You guys, so you could hammer through six, seven hours, but guess what? You're like, at the end of the day, you're like, what the hell did I just do? What did I just do? Has anyone ever had those days? <laughs> like, you just keep thinking, like, what happened? So there are certain hours. There's peak hours where you have, like, your most energy, and that's usually only about, like, maybe two hours max a day. You want to start identifying that. So there are some people that get up at 5 a.m., and that their peak hours are, like, 5 to 7. Like, boom, that's it. They got, like, their work done. Um, some people are night owls like me. My peak hours are 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Like I get so much done at night. It's awesome, right? So I know that and I can, I know that I am good off of six hours of sleep or seven hours of sleep max. Some people need the eight hours of sleep. Um, so there's actually a seven day energy test that you could do. It's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> it's where you want to start journaling your day for seven days straight. What you're doing, when you're doing it, and how do you feel, okay? So that's really cool. Also, force yourself uh, for three days to go to bed, to go to sleep at 10 p.m. and wake up when you wake up. Like, try not to set an alarm, okay? This is another test you could do and see what time you wake up. And you're supposed to wake up on your own. And they say that 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. is the best sleep you get. Well, knowing that, that is definitely something I'm going to try because I just told you I stay up from 10 uh, p.m. to 12 a.m. And uh, I usually feel a lot of energy and I feel good, but I'm going to try that, that three-day 10 p.m. sleep test. Okay, so identify your peak hours and um, chop up your day. So there's something called Pomodoro time blocking, and this is how it goes. So you work in 25 to 30-minute sprints. So 25 to 30-minute sprint stop, take a five minute break, cycle that through four times. Okay. And then when you cycle through the four times, then you take a longer break to a 30 minute window. Okay. Try it. It's called a Pomodoro time, um, time blocking. Okay. Another thing, your MIT, your most important tasks, get your most important tasks written out the night before one to three tasks, whatever they are. Okay, so again, you want to go back to your results producing tasks, like the first column you have. Pick one to three of those. So maybe for you, it's just doing a Facebook Live, like building up the courage, because if you think about it, you will not do it. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> right? So don't think about it. Just write it down. Say, tomorrow I'm going to do a Facebook Live. Uh, just a really quick training. Maybe train on what you just learned here. Just take a segment of it and train on it. So maybe for you, it's just doing a Facebook Live. Cool, boom, get it done first thing in the morning. You don't have to think about it the rest of the day. It's your most important task, get it done first, okay? Another thing most important, move, move, move. Get up, move around, maybe take, if you have a dog, if you have a pet, take them for a walk around the block. You go for a walk around the block, get some fresh air. It's important, especially if you have the home-based business, or even if you're working a nine to five, it's stagnant, right? Like you're sitting in an office all day long. You want to move, get up at lunch, get up your breaks and move. All right. If you have a home-based business, you have to eat. We often don't eat. Get up and move. All right. Get up and move. All right. Um, journal. Journal's a big one. Journal your gratitude. Journal what's working. Journal what is not working. Um, journal what you might do differently throughout your day or in your business. So journal and then, you know, own what works for you. So what works for me, it might not work for you. And that's cool. You want to start identifying. You want to start being, what this whole training is about for you today is being more present in your business, right? Because we're always talking about how we don't have enough time and it's time to really um, dismiss and push the excuse aside because that's all it is. It's an excuse. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have to have all the hours in your day to build this business. You just need some quality hours, some focused hours to, to build this business and move forward. All right. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Okay. And then um, last but not least, you know, find out 
just find what makes you happy, you guys. Just really, really think about what makes you happy and, um, and go with it. Okay, just go with it. So that's it for today. I know this is a longer training. I hope you found value in it, though, because I know I did. It really helped to get me back on track. Um, and I want to help you get up back on track because I feel like sometimes we could be flailing about. And if you want to know more about my affiliate partner company, I'll tell you right now, they have totally changed my life. They've totally changed my business. And, um, since I started with them in September of 2016, I've been able to grow three additional six figure income streams. And I don't say that to impress. I really don't. I say it because, um, it, it is super important to follow the, those that have gone before you. And a lot of people out there or some people out there might not understand my affiliate business. Um, if you've ever heard of Elite Marketing Pro, that's who they are. And the thing is, is that they're just not educated about them. They are absolutely a phenomenal community that truly cares about you growing your business and truly cares about you learning the skill sets that you need to have a successful business. Because we could teach all this stuff about um, gaining more prospects, how to close, how to sell, how to market, how to do Facebook ads, all this stuff. But unless you understand how to set up systems and procedures and leverage for your business, you truly do not have a business. Then you're living inside your business. And they teach you really hardcore fundamentals on what it really takes to be an entrepreneur, okay? So if you want to learn more about um, Elite Marketing Pro and who they are and how they can help you in their mentorship levels. And, you know, even if um, I have like, um, they have like this mini course, it's really cool. It's actually um, how most people get started. It's like a $27 product. You get um, a really in-depth uh, guide about attraction marketing because most of us want to learn how to build our business online. How do we attract more people to us? How do we get more leads for our business? So that's what they teach. It's like a mini course. So you get this robust guide and then you get um, a whole uh, video series that teaches you how to implement the guide. And then you get three free coaching calls inside their community with their ignition coaches that are, a lot of them are my friends and I absolutely adore and love them. And these are certified coaches so they know what they're talking about so if you want that i'm not going to put a link anywhere around here i need you i i want you to drop me um a five okay just drop me a five or say more info and i will make sure to get that over to you because i'm going to tell you right now it'll be the best 27 dollars you will ever spend okay so you guys that's it for me today be blessed as always. I want to help you grow and succeed in your business so you could just do what you want in life, right? Life is about experiencing joy and purpose and freedom, and that is what I'm all about, and that's what I want for you. So um, I hope you found value in today. If you did, please make sure you drop me a comment. Let me know. Also, feel free to share it with anyone that you know that is stuck in their business or overthinking their day and not focused. Let's get them focused, okay? As always, be blessed. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.